Hi everyone, it's Miss Patty at the Gosstown Public Library and welcome to our video about making wildflower seed bombs. I have never made a seed bomb in my life, but I do love flowers, so I'm super excited to try this out and share it with you. So today we're going to use uh, two sheets of construction paper and because it's April, we're recognizing uh, Earth Day. I'm using blue and green to kind of mimic the color of our Earth. And we are going to need some cheesecloth, a pitcher of water, a cup of some sort, a rubber band, I just have a half measuring cup, um, a cutting board and a knife or you can also use a food processor, but I'll be showing you all that as we go along. So the first step is to take your two sheets of construction paper and to rip them into pretty small pieces. You can see, I've already done that with a couple of other sheets before I started this video. I just have the last of this green, so I'm just gonna rip the last of it into the bowl. And in a minute, we're going to saturate these little pieces of construction paper with water so they get nice and mushy. There we go. So kind of the smaller the better, but about, about that, maybe a half an inch. I should also mention that this project is part of our community conversation series this month, this spring, on the environment. We're doing lots of fun things here at the library regarding the environment. Okay, so all the paper is now ripped up and I'm gonna pour just enough water to cover uh, and saturate the pieces that I have ripped up. And that's about it, so I didn't need, it's kind of hard to show you without spilling it out, but just enough to make sure that all the paper is covered with water. And now we're going to wait about 20 minutes until everything gets nice and mushy. So let's wait our 20 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Full disclosure, it's been a lot more than 20 minutes. In fact, it's been hours since I ended the last segment of this video and said let's wait 20 minutes for our paper to get nice and mushy. And the reason why is, before I started filming again, I decided to do a little test and make sure that using my sharp knife to chop up the wet paper would actually work before I filmed it. And the good news is that I did that test first because as it turns out, it's not a viable option. So I do have my food processor here and this is actually how the directions that I read on how to make these seed bombs originally stated you should chop up the wet papers in a food processor. I was hoping I could uh, save my food processor from having paper in it by using a sharp knife, but that's a no-go. So at home, if you don't have a food processor or you really don't wanna sacrifice yours the way I'm about to do with mine, the other option, um, and little hands for little people who are helping you, this is great fine motor exercise, you can just take out the wet paper and it just, if you, if you pick it apart like you would little pieces of bread when you're making stuffing around the holidays, um, it really does um, just fall apart. So you could do that, it'll take a lot longer. So for me, I'm going to pour all of um, the liquid and the paper that's been soaking now for quite a while into my food processor and we will mix it up. I'm sorry, food processor. I know this isn't what you're used to. All right, so let me scoot this over here. And let's do it. Oop. There we go. Oh, it's making a big mess. Ha. All right. So it's pretty well chopped up and I'm pretty much covered in wet water. Um, so this has been a really fun project. <laughs> All right, we're ready for the next step. All right, well that was fun, made a huge mess here in the library, but that's okay. So now I'm going to remove the um, basin of the food processor and I'm gonna dump all that stuff that I just chopped up into my bowl. And if you're home and you have a spatula, a little rubber spatula or something, you can use that, but I'm gonna use my hands. 
and it did work really well. It chopped up the paper really finely. One little tip, don't pour all the water into your food processor that you use to soak the paper initially. Otherwise, you will have a big mess flying out like I did. So just put a little bit of liquid when you transfer it into the food processor. Okay, all done with that. Next is to drain the paper. So you'll have a cup or a bowl and you'll take about a five and a half by five and a half square of cheesecloth and drape it over the top of your cup or bowl and use a rubber band to just sort of hold it in place. And we're gonna use that as a makeshift colander to drain. First, I'm gonna actually squeeze some of this water out. And frankly, you probably don't even have to use the cheesecloth if you don't want to. You can just squeeze really hard. But I'm gonna put it in here. Let it drain through. About half. Okay. Hopefully you can see that, about half the paper. And then you're gonna sprinkle your wildflower seeds over the top. I wanna to make sure it's just separated. Okay, so I have about a tablespoon of wildflower seeds here. I don't think we need very much, but I'm gonna put maybe, I don't even know, maybe, a, maybe half of that here. Okay, and then you're gonna take the remainder of your paper and put it on top. There we go. All right, and then when you're ready, let's see, remove the rubber band, I'm pulling it down, and then lift up a cheesecloth. And you can actually kind of make a little like a little sack, I guess, like that. And then hold it over your bowl and squeeze real hard to get all the rest of that moisture and water. There's quite a bit in there. Okay, I think that's about all. And then carefully remove the cheesecloth. This is actually packing together really nicely. And now you have your seed bomb, wildflower seed bomb. So now you're gonna put it to the side and let it dry a couple hours. And the last thing to do is just find a place that you wanna go outside in your neighborhood, in your own backyard and plant it and uh, wait for the flowers to bloom. If it's really dry out, you're not, we're not getting a lot of rain, you wanna go out every once in a while and make sure where you planted uh, your watering um, and then just wait for the flowers to bloom. So I hope you had fun with this. I hope you uh, learned some tips from me. Again, do not use the knife option because that simply just does not work. Even if your knives are very sharp, um, you can use a food processor or you can just use your fingers um, to pull the paper apart into tiny little pieces. But have a blast. I know I did and I can't wait to see my flowers grow at home.